So Saw 10 has recently been released, and it's definitely injected some of what was so good about the original movies back into the franchise. With there being a whopping 8 traps in this movie, I'm going to be breaking them down and ranking them from worst to best. As some were definitely more creative and deadly than the others, so let's get into it. Here is Saw 10, every trap explained and ranked. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. Number 8. The Eye Vacuum Trap The trap that I'm putting in last place is this one. Not because it's not creative, I really think it is. But the risk and reward wasn't as large as many of the others that we went on to see. For example, this trap had the subject's eyes hooked up to the suction part of a vacuum, and the person hooked up had around 60 seconds in order to twist the dial around to the number 5 in order to stop the trap from going off, which would prevent their eyes from getting sucked out of their head. If they did it successfully, then it would mean that the subject would be able to leave with their eyes, but with 5 broken fingers due to the dial that they needed to twist. This trap only occurred inside the mind of John Kramer, as he was witnessing the individual who was working inside of the hospital thieving off of somebody that was in their duty of care. Because it was a first draft, I feel like if it were to become a reality, Kramer may have altered it to the point where instead of the fingers being broken, he may have made them sacrifice their fingers so they couldn't thieve again, meaning that they would truly have to change their ways, which would tie into the theme. If that was the case, then it definitely would move higher up the ranking, but with the way that it currently is, it stays in last place. Number 7. The Radiation Trap This is a trap that I thought was interesting, but again, unlike many of the others, the loss wasn't that large. Bones can be repaired and skin can be grafted. This trap held its subject several feet up in the air in chains. One hand was held up and one foot was. With a machine that's used in hospitals to emit radiation, it would be directed towards the subject and the intensity of it would increase over time, which would cause an individual's skin to just start melting away the longer it was held in it. In order to stop the machine from emitting the radiation, the subject had an object like a mallet that they had to use to break their wrist and also their ankle in order to break free from the chain so that they were out of the aim of the radiation. Once that was done, then they would be taken to hospital for immediate treatment. Due to the fact that the loss wasn't that great, it's on the lower side of the ranking. Number 6. The Pipe Bomb Trap this was one of the first traps in the movie that was purely gruesome, and it meant that the subject had to do horrific things in order to escape from the grasp of Kramer. Two bombs were essentially clamped inside the subject's arms, and utilizing two blades that were sticking out of their hands due to the masking tape that was around them. They would then have a period of time to essentially dig into it with the hopes of being able to remove it and push it as far away as possible. This would have to be done on both arms. If it wasn't, then it would explode. This one looked extremely painful to watch and it was one that was extremely bloody, and one can only imagine it was just as painful as it was bloody. Number 5. The Disembowelment Trap This was a trap that we didn't actually get to see due to the fact that it was in the post credit scene. However, we can take the odd thing away from it, and from what we saw, it looked deadly. The subject was held up with chains with their hands above their head, and whilst it was like that, there was this mechanical machinery that looked as though it had blades on it that would flip over and over and head towards an individual's stomach. Judging by the fact that Henry's hands were in the air, I would imagine that the subject would need to find a way of releasing their hands in order to stop the machinery, or in order to escape, they would need to suffer an injury which would have caused a scar like what he was supposed to have had. Number 4. The Bloodboarding Trap this trap was one that was very creative and I liked this one because it was very much focused on selflessness and proving how much you valued somebody else when compared to your own life. With a lever in the middle which would dictate the direction of the tap that had blood within it that would be poured onto the subject's face, if both individuals could push themselves to the limit and then the other person did the same, then over time a way out to survive would be possible. However, if one person wasn't prepared to push themselves to the limit, then the person sitting on the other side of the seesaw would end up dying. It looked like a truly torturous experience that would put its subjects through a tremendous amount of suffering in order to survive. People's loyalty to others would be exposed, and it looked like a very creative trap. Number 3. The Leaking Gas Trap Sticking to a similar theme of selflessness and loyalty, the leaking gas trap was one which was also focused around loyalty, with only one survivor being possible of this two-player game. Something which I thought was an interesting choice for Kramer to make. 
With two individuals being locked in a room, a toxic gas would slowly fill it and the two subjects would have to fight to the death in order to put their head through the one hole that was in the wall that would have access to fresh air. Designed for people that say that they would die for the other, it's a trap that most definitely lets you know if the person who says it to you will stand by their words or not. The fact that this was for Cecilia and Parker was perfect, as they were both committed to each other, and we found out that their words meant nothing. The beauty of this trap is that it doesn't kill you. The other person in there with you does. Number 2. The Brain Surgery Trap Coming in second place in this ranking is the Brain Surgery Trap. The subject sits in a chair with surgical equipment that's next to them. Within a 3 minute time frame, the subject needs to perform brain surgery on themselves without any kind of pain relief and extract a part of their cerebral tissue. Once it's extracted and put inside of the beaker which contains a chemical, it would notify the machine that it's hooked up to and it would then release a key to the trap, meaning that the mask that was wrapped around the subject's head wouldn't close. However, if it wasn't done in time, the mask would close and with the heat that it can emit, it would essentially melt the subject's face and give them excruciating burns, resulting in killing them. This was such a gruesome trap and it was one that had me on the edge of my seat. It looked utterly disgusting and extremely painful. The thought of having to extract part of your own brain is something that I can't even begin to imagine. It was extremely creative and the task and ending of it was horrific. Number 1. The Giggly Saw Trap now this was most definitely my favourite trap in the entirety of the movie. It was dark, chilling and it made me look away on several occasions. The subject would have chains around them and in front of them was a giggly saw that would be connected up to a piece of machinery. The subject would have three minutes to use the other giggly saw that was next to them to remove their leg and then, with the suction device that was present, extract three ounces of bone marrow. That would then cause the machinery to stop and for a key to be released. If not, then the giggly saw would move towards the subject and I think you can gauge what would happen to them next. This is definitely one of the most creative traps that we've seen in the franchise and the fact that the subject, Valentina, was so close to extracting enough but wasn't able to, it made the tension of the moment feel far greater than if she wasn't that close. This was a brutal trap that put the subject through a tremendous amount of pain in the hopes of being able to stay alive. It felt like a trap from the earlier movies and I think that's one of the main reasons as to why I liked it so much. The traps in Saw 10 were definitely a mixed bunch. Whilst I don't think that from a consistency point of view they were the best we've ever seen, I would say that some of them, such as the geek they saw and the brain surgery trap, were some of the most difficult and interesting to watch unfold, especially seeing as though they got so close to completing them. With a sequel looking like it's been set up, let's hope that there's more innovative traps that will be on the way. So, there you have it, Saw 10 Every Trap Explained and Ranked. If you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my letterboxed profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. Which trap did you think was the best? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.